Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen about the inbuilt functions of Python, the int type, the decimal form, binary form, octal form, hexadecimal form, and the base conversion. How we are going to convert from one hexadecimal from the binary to hexadecimal, from binary to octal, octal to binary, octal to hexadecimal, and many more contents like that. Let us continue. The Python series are for beginners. The next topic today is the Boolean data type. So in this uh, Python, you also have the Boolean data type. We can use this data type to represent the Boolean values, and the values will be only true or false that will be present in this Boolean data type. And this integrity Python represents a true as one and the false as zero always. So B is equal to true. If you are going to give the type of it, then it is going to show that it is a Boolean format. For example, you have your, for example, you have your a is equals to ten, b is equals to twenty, c is equals to a is greater than, a is less than b, and print c. Now you can see that the value that it is going to print is it is going to give you as true. So this is the Boolean data type that you have. Let us see the small, uh. Program in Visual Studio. A is equals to ten. B is equals to twenty, and C is equals to A is less than B. And let us see. Print C. I'll just save this. Run the score. And now you can see that it is giving the value as true. Now let us see something again. A is equals to value is true. B is equals to Value is again true. C is equals to a plus b. Print c. Save this. Run this. Now here you can see that it is going to give you the value as a two. Now why it is a two? As I always, as I just told you that always in Python, the true value is represented as one and the false value is re represented as zero. So one. So in that case. A is true, that is one, and B is true, that is one. One plus one is two, so the value we are going going to get is true. So if in case this B value was false, if the true value uh, B value was false, then let us see what will be the answer. Now you can see that the answer is one because a true is one and false is zero. One plus zero is always one. So this is how the output is going to get generated with the help of Boolean data type. The next data type we have is the string type. This str represents the string data type. A string is a sequence of characters enclosed within a single quote or a double quote. Now you can see here for an example, it is beyond, and in the double quote you ha also have beyond. Either you can represent it like this, or you can represent it like this. The next by using a single quote, uh, we cannot uh, represent multi-line string. Literals. So in that case, you need to use a double. Quote. For this requirement, we should go for the triple quotes. Okay. By using the single quotes, we cannot represent multi-line literals. You can either use your double quotes or you can also go for triple quotes. For example, you can go like this. Yes, one is equals to triple quotes beyond. And if it is in the next line, and you are going to give your trainer and you are going to close your triple quotes like this. Or you can also use a double triple quotes as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you will write beyond. And in your second line, it is going to be trainer, and you are going to close with the six quotes. So either you can use your double quotes or you can use your triple quotes. Next, if you want to use one line inside another line, so for that also you can use it like this. You get you have to use your triple quotes. So that goes like this. One, two, three. Here it is. This double quotes. Python class is very helpful. So this very help, till very helpful. I have used one line for. Java students, and here you're going to close your triple quotes. So you, you have embedded 
one line inside another line for that you're going to use the double quotes and also the triple quotes so this is all about this str data type video again in the next video till then stay tuned and keep learning bye bye